Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to what I believe is episode seven, maybe. I could be wrong. I can't count sometimes. Of Alan Wake 1. Um, I am currently on a seven-episode binge streak here, uh, trying to make roughly 27 episodes between this and American Nightmare of half-hour episodes before the end, or before Alan Wake 2 comes out on the 27th. Um, my hope is that I can get all, or both of those games done and uploaded so that I can play Alan Wake 2 and start uploading the moment it comes out on the 27th. That is my goal. Um, I don't even know if today's the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, and it'd be Friday. So I could take all of that weekend and just play the entirety of the game and get it out as quickly as possible. And I think that's what we're going to be shooting for. So stick around and you might get to see a, a brand new game and not have to spend $60 on it in case it sucks ass, which it might. Hello? The most stubborn man. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Huh. So, an odd, like, it's not just people that are going to be possessed, it's going to be objects. All right, um, well, once again, the other way is the way we have to go, so let's take a look at this path. A little shack, maybe some loot in the shack, a little loot shack. Oh, yeah, one of the special crates. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Hello? I don't need creaky sounds in the old creaky house, all right? All right, no more batteries, nothing nothing else back here. Um, I know I've missed a couple manuscripts. I'm really sad about it. I felt like I was... Oh, God! They actually scared me. I'm not even going to pretend. These ones scared me. Let's head back, grab this ammo really quick, because uh, we can. And let's go. Yeah, they scared, like, my, my heart actually jumped on that one. <laughs> this game has not been scary so far. I, I mean, I didn't think it was going to be, like, a horror game, but I had heard it was, like, a very, like, spoopy kind of game. So I, w I was hoping for, like, a little more darkness out of it, which is weird, because it's always at night and we're literally fighting darkness, but you guys get what I mean and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. I have a gun. I can find a car. <laughs> Whether or not I can use it. But I have a gun, so I can totally use whatever car I find. But then the FBI has a real reason to come after me. I do want to know what's up with this uh, FBI agent. Because he's been pretty, uh... The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in the
Let's just get out of here. Fuck that. I don't know what that was, but fuck that. Fuck that to hell. Oh my god! This is actually fucked. Um, I don't know where to go. I'm actually panicking a little bit. Do I go? Okay. Manuscript over here, too. This has got to be the way. Woo! All right. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt, either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Oh, that's for sure going to be the FBI dude, right? That we're going to, like, lock out of the house. I can't think of anyone else in the game that we would feel good about. As a teenager, uh, just started to get interested in writing. Letting Stephen die. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. How did I just get hurt? Why did I just get hurt, I guess? Interesting. We now have a heavy-duty flashlight, so flashlight upgrade. Let's go. Um, all right. Sorry, my nose gets really itchy. I'm not, like, picking my nose. It's just my nose gets itchy inside. It's, it, I've always had nasal issues, I guess is the best way to put that. I've always had, like, just nasal issues as a kid. I'm always, like, at least half stuffed up, um, which you could probably hear sometimes. Hello, friendly wens. This seems like a flashbang kind of moment. Good fucking god, are you kidding me? Alright, the dodge button doesn't actually do anything. I'm just gonna say that right now. The dodge button does nothing in this game. Uh, Alright, I don't have a light source or anything, so... All right, on we go. Yeah, I don't know. I've always had, like, not nose issues. And I think I finally got most of them under control, but, like, then sometimes I definitely don't. me? Yeah, you're supposed to die when I do that. Hello, Wendy Wends. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm quote, I know I can hurt them in the light. I'm quoting, uh, Nerdy Prudes Must Die Again. I, I, it came out 10 days ago. I have watched it fully through, start to finish, at least seven or eight times at this point. It's a two and a half hour musical. It's so fucking good. I, I cannot recommend it highly enough. We take the facts of our existence yeah, okay. for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self delusion. Wow, I almost missed that manuscript there. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. It is intriguing to make a mechanic or like a collectible of the game be something that tells you what's about to happen in the game. But somehow it's still cool to see in real life when we're in the game. 
Hey, buddy. Fuck you. Hey, buddy. Fuck you, too. God, I wish I could have some kind of, like, modular audio thing. Maybe OBS has this. I just don't know how to activate it. But where I set, like... I set where I want the audio to never go over, and the game no and, and OBS increases or lo or decreases the audio of the game to always kind of be in that general range. I think that would be a cool addition, that would make me feel like I can't like I can't speak in those moments because it's so freaking loud that I know you guys won't be able to hear me. But at the same time, I can't stop and lower and raise the volume myself each time. That would take way too long. It would just be a cool feature. Maybe OBS has it. Maybe you just need to look into it. But some kind of like self-regulating audio level kind of thing. I'll look into it. Coffee. Ther I wonder how many thermoses there are. I wonder if I missed any yet. I feel like I've been pretty good about picking them up. But I definitely could have just missed one off on a, a direction I never went one time. Wouldn't surprise me. Ooh. Can I open this door first? Nope. You can tell you can't open the door because the uh, the graphic on the door, the, the the resolution is really shitty, so you can't really interact with it. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Coal mine wasn't far now. These are some really pretty visuals. Uh, I wish uh, maybe they should go back and remaster this game. I feel like this game would do really good for a remaster. If Alan Wake Today, Two works, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Wait, should I have hopped in the truck? Uh, I feel like. Um, if Alan Wake 2 does really good, they should remaster 1. I feel like that would just be like a solid business decision, because it is a very good game, and with just updated controls and graphics, it can be really good. I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real but it matched a textbook case of insanity. We gotta get out. I could probably drive around, right? We'll figure it out. Yeah, this game remastered, like with new age graphics would be gorgeous. Um, and they could definitely do some cool stuff with the gun system, like an upgradable gun system, as opposed to just, you have the same revolver the whole game, but you instead you find upgrades. get a new uh, a new voice actor for uh alan wake make it like someone really recognizable i'm not missing out on any of these damn thermoses alice is gonna have so much freaking coffee when i when i save her never gonna sleep again not because of the coffee though it's the weirdest wink combo ever Jeez, louise You ever do something then think to yourself, like, why the fuck did I just do that? That's how I just felt about that. Got 
nothing back there. A radio here, but this is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBS FM, folks. <laughs> I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that goofy music track last night, but I was. Why did they make me get out of my truck just to come here to get back into a car? That doesn't make sense to me. Also, this is definitely not the direction to go for the coal mine, so I'm excited to see what's down here. Jeez. Hard to control the car down here, though. Oh, this is just another way up and around. Okay. Alright, we're going off-road a little bit. Ready for this? Just fly over this hill. Let's go! Yeah! So close. So close. All right, we don't have a car. <laughs> We're gonna walk there. Whoops. Oh God, I bet this is gonna take so freaking long to do by walking. Oh my God, why did I do this? All right, we're gonna go back and get the truck. I'm, I'm really thinking about it and it seems very obvious that they wanted us to have a car because it's gonna take too long to do without. So even even though I go back and I'm gonna have to waste time backtracking, I feel like I'm still gonna save time going forward. My bad guys, I was trying to be funny. I could have just turned around when I realized that this was all the same direction or all the same thing here. <sighs> My bad. Well, the name of the channel isn't Alex is awesome at games and makes the right decision every time. That's for sure. Come on, baby. Push, push, push. Ah, oh, yeah. I wanted the truck anyway. That other car was too, uh... <laughs> too girly for me. And I need the, I need the man's truck. The pickup truck. Did you know a lot of states aren't allowing you to, um... Im import cars from other countries, or trucks from Japan anymore? Like, those little, those little, like, box trucks from Japan? You can't get those anymore. They don't let you. We're definitely going up there. There's going to be something up there. Um, they're refusing to title them, which is crazy. Because they're so much more fuel efficient. And I think that's part of the problem is they're so fuel efficient that even though there's like a markup to import them into the country, over, over time you still save way more money on gas than you do on... than you spend on getting them. There's nothing up here. There's nothing up here. Game? I don't say this often. Go fuck yourself. Who am I kidding? I say that all the time. Alright, truck or cool tan mobile? Oh, we're definitely going with the cool tan car this time. Need a little muscle. Oh yeah, listen to that engine. Yeah. Do we go in these places? I feel like I really want to explore some of these places, but also I've been talking about how I have a deadline of like getting a certain number of videos out every day just to be able to play two and upload on day one. And this is really good. Like if I do this throughout the entire game, I'm really going to hamper uh, my ability to get that done. If I really push it though, I think I could get Alan Wake done uh, tomorrow. Which would be the 24th. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special. 
but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Mott. I don't remember Mott on the ferry. I remember the old man we spoke to, but... It doesn't seem like that's Mott, just based on the description from that page there. Like, a kind of a womanizer, like in what he saw with my wife, and, and wanting to fight me. Like, that doesn't scream, you know, that guy that we spoke to. Alright, let's just go. Let's go. We gotta get there. We gotta get to the coal mine. Might even end the video once we get into the coal mine, if that's like the next part of the game, I'm not certain. It seems like each night is a new, a new like, part of the game. So... It was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Oh, jeez, Louise. I would miss my head if I didn't know where it was all the time on my shoulders. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah, I am kind of curious about what this FBI dude's deal is. Because he doesn't, like, we see people who are taken over by the darkness, and he doesn't seem like he is. But he still seems like he wants me for some reason, like I really didn't want bad. I to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd tortured the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. <laughs> I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. Right, the only way out of here is through I the store. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Or not. That well, that one gave me a jump. <laughs> Maybe closer than ever before. That one gave me a jump. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Did that open up a way out of here though? I'm still a little confused. Just back out this door then. Nothing here. Can I jump up here? No. Can't jump down here anywhere. How am I supposed to leave? Probably something I'm supposed to press a button on and I'm just not finding it. Let me out! Yeah, that's still closed. Up here? Oh, but then they would go down here, so huh. down here? Oh, there we go. Okay, got it. Sorry, guys. That one took me a second to logic through excuse me i hope that was my hold to mute button pretty sure it was but if it wasn't excuse me sorry guys <laughs> oh coffee i really do want to know how many thermoses there are and how many i've collected because i really feel like i'm doing a good job of getting all of them 
it'd be a nice surprise to get to the end of the game or get to the last one and have get the achievement like collect all the thermoses that'd make me feel good about my time here ow fuck you I use the F word so much I love it it's my favorite word I think when Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming Sorry, effort, guys. he had changed all that. Just Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she fixing did up was the beard. piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. I will admit, some of these manuscripts I just don't care about at all, but most of them are either like something that's going to happen in the game or just something cool. All right, a bunch of ammo. Time to have a fight. Ow, fuck you. Where do they keep getting shit to throw at me? Ooh, that was just pure instinct. Like that was... How am I supposed to either kill that or dodge that in time? You tell me. Like, that had so much health, there was a zero chance I was going to kill it and get out of the way in time. Or, or yeah. I don't know. Maybe I needed to flashbang it. Maybe that's... Maybe those are a flashbangy time. I only have three, though, so if I'm going to use them, I want to make sure I'm using them. Correctly. Come on, guys! Come on! Let's fight, boys. Uh, nothing down here. It doesn't look like anything over here. Like, the health on the, some of them is just really hard to deal with. If when I did the flashlight thingy, they kind of stuttered like the, like other big enemies do, it'd be more doable, but... What the hell? Oh. It's our first real time seeing the darkness as a tangible enemy like that, I think. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. So I've got to turn off the power. Can I get in this Jeep and drive it? Yes, I can. Thank you, game, for giving me transportation. Love you. Thanks, bud.
Oh yeah, this would suck without a uh, vehicle. God. Yep, just ignore all of them and just keep going. Sometimes it's better to run than to fight. You gotta pick your battles. Yeah, felt like a good use of the flashbang. I only have one left. I, I should probably make sure it's a, a solid use of it next time. But that seemed good enough to me. I didn't know how many were coming through that door. Uh, this video is going to go a little longer than I want, but I want to get to like a solid safe place before I uh, cut it. Hey, buddy. I wasted a bullet trying to be cool. Sag. Ooh, more coffee. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Good lord. All right, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you could like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can to help me rise up the YouTube algorithm. That way other people can find and enjoy my content. I would really appreciate it. And as always, guys, until next time, see ya.